Hello, my lovelies. Thank you very much for um, joining me on my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Moon, Sun, and Rising. I do want to thank you guys very, very much for supporting my channel. Um, for every single one of you guys that watches my videos, that likes, shares, comments, that subscribes, thank you very much. For those of you guys that have came to me for spell work, for candle magic, for private consultations, thank you guys so much. It truly humbles me and it excites and thrills me so much to hear uh, that you guys are quickly seeing results. That is obviously the intention when you guys first come to me and to my true uh, commitment to give you guys results. So thank you guys very, very much. Um, for those of you guys that have recently contacted me, please be a little bit patient in regards to the emails. I am trying the best I can. There's only one me. <laughs> And it's been it's been very very crazy uh, at the end of the year it's always the busiest but this year <laughs> I was extremely blessed to start uh, getting very very busy by September so again the wave just you know I'm, I'm trying to survive <laughs> uh, but again like I said I am extremely blessed and very thankful for each and single one of you guys that you know have came to me so thank you guys very much um, Again, like I said, please be a little bit patient. I will definitely respond. Don't think that I'm ignoring messages. I am just trying the best I can to uh, balance everything, okay? So anyways, let's get into this reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Moon, Sun, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of November 2017 regarding your love life for Aquarius, Aquarius. I will be pulling out four cards for you and four cards for your partner. Uh, or the person you're dealing with, and I will be pulling out the current situation card. So let's get into your reading, Aquas. All right, so you have the Seven of Wands that popped out already. You have the Three of Cups. You have the King of Cups. And you have the High Priest. Partners cards are the person you're dealing with is the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Spirit, please give me the current situation card. Current situation card for Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay. Current situation card for you, Aquarians. All righty. So let's get into your reading. You have the full card. The full card, current situation representing your relationship. You guys are in new beginnings. So, okay, so your cards, uh, Aquarius, the Seven of Wands, uh, this is how you're viewing your partner, the current situation. Seven of Wands is feeling guarded, uh, perhaps having to do with the fact that either your partner caught you talking to someone outside of the relationship or it could be that you caught your partner talking to someone else uh, as the three of cups definitely a third party type of energy with the seven of wands right next to it you're feeling guarded you're feeling like you can't trust them or like you have to watch your back now the king of cups is being represented here king of wands uh, sorry king of cups usually represents a water sign so it could be a scorpio pisces or cancer and you have the high priest right next to it so what this represents is uh, for some of you guys, again, like I said, it could be that you find, uh, it could also represent your partner, in fact. Um, again, like I said, a water sign. Um, so it, I know it says king of cups, but it doesn't have to be a, a male. It could be both uh, female or male. It is a general reading. Um, so again, like I said, the three of cups, um, definitely third party type of energy. And the king of cups being represented here, obviously that's not your energy. So it could be your partner's energy. It could be the person that you found that they were talking to or communicating with, or it could be the third part, uh, the third person that you were dealing with that your partner caught or found out about. Now, the high priest here being represented, the high priest is all about the all knowing, but also wanting to share. But more than anything, right under it is the Ten of Pentacles. It is, you guys are just trying to self sabotage, um, Aquarius. I'm going to be very straightforward and honest. Um, if you felt that your partner was pushing you, pushing you in the sense of wanting commitment or wanting to get married um for those of you guys that have been dating it could be that you're you know they were trying to push you for a relationship and that's the reason why you started talking to a third person that's the reason why you stepped out of the relationship or um 
the somewhat relationship for those of you guys that are still just currently dating. But you're self-sabotaging and the reason for that is because you're not wanting to be tied down. You're not wanting to feel like you're stuck. Um, and this is based out of fear. Now, the cards that symbolize your partner and how they view the situation is the Seven of Swords. Someone's being sneaky and petty. It could be you or it could be your partner. It is a general reading. So if it was you, the one that was talking to a third party, a third, par uh, a third party a person, third party situation, the Seven of Swords definitely represents that they are guarded. And they are guarded because they know you're being sneaky, because you're hiding things. They can't trust you. The Nine of Wands definitely represents um, getting to a point in the situation where they're no longer willing to put the effort, this could represent you as well. Aquarius, if it's not you and it's your partner, in fact, that stepped out of the relationship. You're no longer wanting to put effort. You're not wanting to work it out anymore. Now, the page of wands here, there's communication. There's communication with this water sign. So again, if your partner is not the water sign, it could be the person that they're dealing with, that they're communicating with back and forth, a lot of communication. It could be for some of you guys that you... Again, like I said, out of fear, you self-sabotage yourself and started talking to other people only because uh, you were basically trying to mess it up. And the reason for it was, again, like I said, fear out of commitment. Now, your the partner you were dealing with or the person you're dealing with is not going to put up with that shit. And I'm letting you know right now. If, in fact, they found out that it was you the one that was talking to other people, they quickly decide to cut you out. And then you come to the realization that perhaps you want to put effort in the relationship. Maybe you do want to step it to the next level. And when that happens, right around the corner, that's when they find a Taurus person. Uh, the reason I say that is because the high priest is here and the ten of pentacles is here. And these are the cards representing your partner. So what this means is that out of not wanting to put effort into the relationship no longer, they walk away towards something more stable, towards something that is a promising uh, stability. So again, um, if it's you, in fact, that is dealing with this situation and it's your partner, the one that stepped out of the relationship, uh, you being guarded and being fed up, having to deal with family members as well, or lo a lot of chaotic type of energy, you're walking away from that and you're walking away towards an earth sign. So an earth sign would be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And this is the beginning or the start of something new. Okay. Um, I know that now for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship or marriage, someone is stepping out of this relationship and when it is known, whether it's your, whether it's your partner, you guys will walk away from this relationship, not wanting to put effort in it no more. The seven of wands always tells me that it's been a struggle or it's been a constant struggle in this relationship. The nine of wands symbolizes getting to the point where you're I'm not having it no more. I'm not putting up with this shit. I'm walking away. I know my worth and I know that I can find something better. And you walk away. Right when you walk away, you walk towards a promise for a new beginning and something that is going to be long term or something that is going to be more stable. Okay? So I hope this resonates with you guys. Like, share, and comment. If you have some subscribe. Sorry. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And I hope to hear from you guys um, soon. If you're trying to get a private consultation, look at the description box below. Okay, we'll talk soon. Bye.